All right, people. There's Diesel, do you see? And over there's Tinklebird. Tinklebird has been making some noise. Hi, Tinklebird. <whistles> now Tinklebird doesn't want to talk, but she'll probably make noise all throughout this video. All right, now she's talking. Anyway, today, it's been a little while, but we're going to be doing a full update on all the preheat fluorescent lights in my house that are currently wired up to something, and we have a lot more smart switches installed. The only noise we'll have to worry about in this video is the bird, because I turned off all the air conditioners and the dehumidifier. So we're going to start in this room and work our way back. I have the Alexa app here, so I'm not going to talk for everything, but for now, we'll start off with here. I put another strip light in, so watch this. Alexa, strip on. Okay. Got some good blinkage there. All right, and we move down a little bit. And we see a little four watt preheater. Let's go turn it on. Epic. Over here in the knick-knack nook, we have several fixtures. Most of these were made by Dave Lay. We're gonna take a look at each fixture and turn it on. Starting up here, F8 T5. Awesome. Dual F4 T5, Dave Lay. Dual F8 T5 from David Lay. Down here is a pretty famous fixture. It needs no introduction. Let's watch it turn on. That's right, my 32 watt half piper. And here is a light from the diesel nut. Here on the Davenport, this is a light fixture I just got off eBay. It's an old Dayton under cabinet light, just like one we had when I was a kid. Let's turn it on. Up here on the bird cage, we have one of Dave Lay's creations, so let's turn it on. Alexa, bird light on. Okay. Not very blinky. F14 T12 shop light, or we can do it the old fashioned way. Watch this. Got a little bit of blinkage there. On top of the TV, we have the old lampy black light that I had when I was in college. Let's turn it on. That Philips black light bulb is not very blink happy. Yeah. And we have mood lights here. F14 T12 blue. On this side, we have a PL bulb that's green. Pretty cool. Down here, we have an F15 T12 green. All right, that concludes the living room. Now we're going on to the master bedroom, which the first thing you see when you enter here is the light from Jason's granddad, which obviously it's on a smart switch, so we're going to press the switch and turn it on. Here we go. It gives an epic startup. Now we go over to this nightstand over here where we have Dave Lay's Dual F6 T5. An F6 T5 from Diesel Nut. It's got a pink bulb and black lightning. Over on top of the air conditioner is the F13 T8 that David Lay made. Let's turn it on. It's very blink happy. On the nightstand, we have an F15 T12 green. Pretty blinky. And plugged into it is this very rare and unique F6 T5 light, but this one doesn't have a starter. It's a manual preheater. Watch this. If you just press it, it won't come on. You gotta hold it down. And then you let go and it comes on. To turn it off, you pull out on the switch. I got this off eBay for like nine bucks and I love this little light. 
Epic. Over here on the nightstand, or I mean not the nightstand, the dresser, we have two F40 T12 fixtures. I just got this light bulb off eBay, and it's a red bulb. All right, let's fire up the red one. Got some great blinkage out of that. And this F40 T12 black light. That was given to me by a friend of Jason. Over on the other nightstand, dual F7 T5. Manual switch. Awesome. In the bathroom, we have some PL bulbs up here in this light. Let's fire them up. Get some good blinkiness out of that. We have one more light to look at here in the bedroom. The circle black light. Not very blinky, but still pretty cool. Let's go check out the dining room now. All right, here we are in the dining room, and I'm sure you remember this light. It has been put on an Amazon smart switch. So that means I can turn it on with my phone just like this. Or say, Alexa, dining light on. Okay. I put new ballasts in it, so let's turn that on and off again. Pretty epic. And as we come down, we have an F30 T12 strip above the window. And we go down a little bit more. And we have another light from none other than the Diesel Nut F8 T5. And right next to it is the light fixture from Jimster 586 with a black light bulb in it. Pretty cool. Right here is probably the only rapid start fluorescent fixture I own. I got these two off eBay, and as you can probably assume, this one is being converted to preheat, while this one is going to stay on its rapid start ballast. Let's watch a couple startups of this rapid start light. Interesting, but not epic. Whoops, sorry. This is interesting, but not epic. Let's do it two more times. It takes about a half second to start, and I am unsure of where or if I'm going to install this light or just keep it in my collection. On top of the air conditioner, we have another mood light. It's the Westinghouse Pink F14 T12 in the old Sears light fixture. Pretty cool. All right, I like that. All right, now we go on to the guest bedroom where the light from Force has been put on a smart switch. So with that being said, let's turn it on from my phone. It gives nice blinkage. It's got European Schwab ballasts in it. Awesome. We move down to the desk where we have my great grandfather's old preheat desk light. Again, this is a manual preheater. See, you have to hold the button down. This one you don't have to hold down very long because it overdrives the lamp. Watch this. You only have to hold it down for a second. See, to turn it off, you press the black button, which disconnects the lamp. I mean, it, it overdrives the lamp so bad. See, you barely have to tap it to get the light to come on. And right next to it, we have the old Sears light fixture from Mike Davenport. He gave this to me. Came out of his kitchen, had some electrical problems, so I rewired it. Let's turn it on. It 
The cool thing about it, it's rocking a 1940s ballast that I put in it. Next to it, we have this old G&M lighting fixture that, as you can see, was made in St. Louis, Missouri. Let's turn it on. Gives a little bit of blinkage. Awesome. Now, in this window, we have F14 T12 Gold. Of course, it's on Alexa. Get some good blinkage out of that, because I'm running it off a PL13 ballast. Drives the, the total fixture wattage is about 19 watts. Let's swing the camera over here to the air conditioner where you can see the strip that Jacob gave me. It's actually a bathroom light. It's not very blinky, but watch this. Ooh, it gave us a pretty good start up there. I like that. Awesome. Now down here is a project that I just recently completed. I converted this thing from um, rapid start to preheat. I don't know why you need rapid start on an F15 fixture, but this, this and two others are going to go above the windows in this room. Let's turn it on. Not very blinky because I'm pretty sure that old paper ballast overdrives the lamp. Now in the closet, as you can see, it's a lot more organized than it was last time because almost all of the fixtures I have have been installed. We still have a few we need to get down and demonstrate. And we got an ample supply of light bulbs up there. Now on to the kitchen. This switch right here controls this light right here. F32 circle line. That was a great startup. Do you notice anything missing in my kitchen? That's right, a door has disappeared. Now behind us, above the kitchen sink, we have another F32 preheat circle line. Let's turn it on. That came on really quick. Nice end glow. Let's do it one more time. Next to it, we have using an, a 17 watt tube. I'm not quite sure the exact model of the light bulb, but Aaron Stone got this for me at the Habitat store. Let's turn it on. Wow, it's very blinky. And then in the window, we have two F20 strips. So now you're going to get to see all three of these lights come on at the same time. That is awesome. How many times have I said that, guys? And also, I'll tell you what, count how many fluorescent lights I've shown in this video and please post it in the comments. Now we're in the laundry room where we have the uh, F32 circle line that I bought off eBay and repainted. Get a little bit of linkage. Then behind it, above the washer and dryer, we have my old lampy light, which I use this in my dorm room in college. It's on Alexa. Give a pretty good blink fest. All right, I believe that is every preheat light in the house. Now we need to go down to the basement and see something. Let's turn on the elevator's video light again. It's dark out here. And if you look up there, that's one thing I wish was preheat. What is that, everyone? Does any, anyone know what that is? It's pretty cool. I can see it from my backyard. All right, let's go down to the basement now. Down here, I'm sure you're going to recognize this if you've been a long time viewer of this channel. Y'all remember this? That's right. It's the old Harmony House Sears fluorescent light fixture I got at the Habitat store years ago, and I made a video about this. It was made by Sears. So with that being said, using Alexa, we're going to turn it on. I'm 
sure you notice some light to the left of your screen. I bet you're wondering what that is. Well, I'm going to show you. This I just put up today. And this light fixture is another one like the one that Jason gave me that is very special. My good friend Christy. I'm sure some of y'all have heard me talk about her. This lived in her grandfather's basement. And that end cap right there. I dropped and broke, but I put it back together with crazy glue. This was in her granddad's basement. He recently passed away, so in his honor, tonight I installed it in my basement where it will live on. Two F20 T12. Let's turn it on. Awesome. It's not very blinky, but we'll do it one more time. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this update on my preheat fluorescent lights. Tune in later this month, early next month, and we'll have another update as there's being more lights installed. Leave a comment below as to how many light fixtures I just showed. Thanks for watching. That'll be it. Tinklebird says, A huge thank you to all our patrons. The video's over. But it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more. And you know what to do. Click the buttons. And don't forget to subscribe. And light up that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.